welcome back everybody to this week's video so this week we are going to be making a lidded box from a piece of wood i've never used before called macro carpa also known as monterey cypress and we're also going to be using a threaded insert from niles bottle stoppers so right now we're using the mid-size rougher from easy wood tools just to get it to round and we're making a tenon on the end here and we're using the detailer now so we can match the angles of the jaws in the chuck so just for reference this wood turns a lot like construction pine but smells a little bit like cedar so yeah it's not quite nice in the workshop whilst doing this one all right so we've got it flipped around in the truck and now we're going to make a mortise this is going to be the bottom of the uh, of the box using a pencil here to mark it out all right the first one we're going to use is the mid-size detailer just to mark out where the mortise is going to go the number one hollower just to clean everything out the mid-size rougher to flatten everything off and give the, the bottom an undercut so it sits flat on the table and back to the detailer once again so it matches the angles of the jaws of the truck all right we've got it flipped around once again and now we're going to use the the parting tool from easy wood tools and we're going to split it in two and we're going to finish that cut off using a handsaw there we go just like that all right so now we're going to use a one and a half inch force in a bit and we're just gonna drill down a little bit ready for the insert get a smaller drill bit now and we're gonna drill down to depth so like i said i'm using the inch and a half they also do two and a half inch and three and a half inch bit of compressed air there bring up the tail stop bit of support and now we're going to start turning it to shape so the first one we're going to use is the mid-size rougher There's the number one hollower. And here is the mid-size finisher, just to finish it off and clean it up. There you go. Alright, so on to some hollowing now. So we're using the rougher here just to create a shelf for the insert to sit on. And now we switch to the number one hollower. This is the number two micro hollower. And now the number one micro hollower. Gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna 
There you go. It's just what I do. Bit of compressed air. Tip the wall thickness with the finger calipers. Alright, so I've already done most of the sanding now, so we're just going to sand to 400 grit here with clean spore abrasives. There's some red carnival colours there from the Hampshire Sheen range. This wood was not the best for uh, taking stains, but never mind. Some pre-thin cellulose sand and sealer. Some Yorkshire grip microphone. And some Hampshire Sheen finishing wet. Follow me out down to the bay. Forget all the worries when you're with me. Let every way gently kiss away. There we go. All right, so now we're going to get to the lid. This is the rougher here, so we're just going to quickly take it down to a tenon so it fits down the, uh, so we can get a fitting on the, the, the threaded insert. There's the first test fit, and realise we need to take a little bit more off. A nice tight fit there. All right, so now we're going to get to uh, cleaning it up a little bit more. We brought the tail stock up, and now we're going to get to shaping the lid. I'm wondering if everybody's guessed what we're making already. Alright, so we've got it flipped round in the chuck and in the pin jaws. Just going to finish off that shaping. There's the mid-size finisher, the mid-size detailer, and the micro detailer. So I'm sanding with some clean spore abrasive, once again 400 grit. Some methylated spirits or denatured alcohol to clean the grain. Some sanding sealer. Some Yorkshire grit abrasive paste. Dreamed about nothing else other than you. 
And some Hampshire Sheen finishing wax. Off camera, I just mixed up some five minute epoxy to glue the threaded inserts on. Uh, being careful not to uh, get any into the threads. All right. Here are some pictures. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your enemies if you like. And if you'd like to watch any more of my videos, click them buttons on the right hand side. Until next week, bye bye for now.